Polymers are amazing material, but for majority of its application, polymers are mixed with other fillers, additives, and colorant for better performance and appearance. Performance of these mixed polymers depend on the quality of mixing. In plastic industry, single screw extruder and twin screw extruders are the most common machine used to mix polymer and additives. In this video, I'm going to talk about basic characteristics of single screw and twin screw extruders, and then we'll talk about how do they differ from each other. Both single and twin screw extruders are consist of some basic elements like screw, feeder, barrel, heating element, motor, and gearbox. Single screw extruders contain one screw, whereas twin screw extruder contains two screws. Presence of one or two screw significantly changes the flow and amount of shear that can be applied on the polymer. Extruders mostly contains more than one feeders to achieve desired loading of additives in the polymer. In case of single feeder, polymer and additives are premixed. Barrel is a long cylinder which host screw and keep molten polymers confined inside the extruder. The inner layer of barrel is specifically treated to eliminate any reaction with polymer at high temperature. Heaters are mounted on the barrel to melt the polymer and keep it at desired temperature during extrusion. Several heaters are used to separately control the temperature at different zones. Mostly, extrusion is performed at 50 degrees C higher temperature than the melting point of polymer. The temperature profile of polypropylene is shown in the picture, which has a melting temperature of 165 degrees C. And finally, all extruders contain motor and gearbox to generate motion and transfer motion from motor to screw. Every component of the extruder influences the mixing quality and efficiency. As mentioned previously, single screw extruders contain one screw. The screw mostly is a single metallic shaft containing flights to guide the polymer inside the barrel. Most screw contains three distinct sections. First section is called feed section. In this part, flight depth is high so that more amount of plastic beads can fit in. As plastic is fed through the hopper, it melts and moves forward due to back pressure. Back pressure is the most important factor which controls flow of polymer inside single screw extruder. Second zone is called compression. In this section, the flight depth gradually decreases. It allows polymer melt to get compressed and release any volatile material which can be harmful for the polymer. The third zone is called metering. In this section, flight depth is very narrow which creates high shear and thus help additive to disperse in the polymer matrix. It is important to know that the relative length of each zone depends on the polymer's melting behavior and the viscosity of polymer melt. If polymer are difficult to melt, it needs longer feed zone. But if polymer possess very low melt viscosity, then we need to use small feed zone and long compression zone. Therefore, various type of screw design is available in the market as shown in the picture. Pressure inside a single screw extruder is shown here. We can see that pressure gradually increases from feed zone to metering zone. The increase in pressure is related to decrease in flight depth. The pressure also reflects the amount of shear applied in each zone. As polymers are always under pressure inside the barrel, we cannot put vent in a single screw extruder because polymer melt will shoot out from the vent. 
Recent development in screw design have allowed putting vent in the single screw extruder, but it is still not widely adapted. Now coming to twin screw extruder. Twin screw is much more versatile than single screw extruders. Presence of two screws allows several variations in terms of rotation, position, and type. Therefore, there are several types of twin screw exist in market. Based on rotation, twin screw can be classified into co-rotating and counter-rotating. In case of co-rotating, both screw moves in the same direction, whereas in counter-rotating, screw rotates in opposite direction. For plastic compounding, co-rotating twin screw extruders are mostly used. In term of position, twin screw can be classified into intermessing and non-intermessing. In intermessing, two screws are positioned very close to each other so that flights of one screw enters in the flight depth of other screw. Arrangement of screw in this way allows self-wiping of screws and better transfer of polymer melt from one screw to another screw. In non-intermessing, screws are positioned far apart so that flights do not enter in each other's space. These types of twin screw are used for high throughput compounding. Twin screw can also be classified by the screw types like single shaft or modular. Single shaft screws are very similar to single screw extruder. Single shaft screws provide option to achieve very high shear, but to process different types of polymer and additives, whole screw needs to be changed. The modular screw consists of individual elements arranged on a shaft. As elements can be arranged in a wide number of ways, the screw design can be extremely versatile. Most common elements in a twin screw extruders are conveying element, kneading block, and flow restrictor. Number and location of these elements can be easily changed thus provides huge amount of flexibility during compounding. Kneading blocks provides high amount of shear, thus help to achieve excellent dispersion of additives. However, if the polymer is sensitive to extensional flow, having kneading block can be a problem. Flow restrictors reverses the flow of polymer melt, thus allows additives to mix properly in the polymer matrix. Depending upon the difficulty of dispersion, a typical screw of twin screw extruder will consist of one or more section of kneading and flow restrictor blocks as shown in the image. Presence of various types of elements in the screw also leads to different pressure level inside the barrel. Here we can see that after feeding, pressure increases as polymer melt moves forward. Highest pressure is developed at kneading block. The pressure again drops as we move to conveying element from the kneading element. We can see here that depending upon the offset angle of kneading block, different amount of pressure is developed at different kneading block section. And almost no pressure is developed at the conveying section. Presence of sections with zero pressure allows manufacturers to put extra feeder and vent at different part of the machine. Twin screw extruders ability to provide opportunity to have multiple feeders and vents significantly enhances its mixing ability and efficiency. Actually, the presence of two screws significantly changes how polymer is processed in twin screw compared to single screw extruders. The most important difference is in single screw extruder, polymer melt flows passively due to back pressure. On the other hand, in twin screw extruder, there is active flow of polymer melt since polymer melts are actively transferred 
from one screw to another screw. The active flow of polymer melts provides two very important benefits. First, twin screw extruder can run in a starved mode, which means it is not necessary to completely fill twin screw to move material forward. But in case of single screw extruder, it is important to flood fade, otherwise polymer melt will not move forward. As twin screws are a starved fed, there is almost no pressure in conveying zone. Another benefit of active melt transfer is that we can control how materials can flow inside the barrel and how long it could stay in a specific segment of the screw. Thereby, mixing efficiency can be optimized. Overall, it can be said that extremely good mixing efficiency of twin screw extruder can be attributed to presence of high shear elements, vents, and active material flows. So, to summarize the difference between the single screw and twin screw extruders, we can say that the first difference is number of screws. Single screw extruders contains one screw whereas twin screw extruder contains two screws. The screw of twin screw extruders are mostly modular, therefore provides opportunity to design in an infinite number of ways. Whereas screws of most single screw extruders contains well-defined three sections, so provides little flexibility in screw design. As high shear elements are present in twin screw extruder, it can apply significantly high amount of shear than single screw extruder. Modular design and star feeding in twin screw extruder also allows putting vents and additional feeders at different parts of the machine. Overall, twin screw extruder provides significantly better mixing efficiency than single screw extruder. However, Initial investment in single screw extruder is significantly low compared to twin screw extruder and single screw extruder is significantly better in processing shear sensitive polymers and add additives. So if additives is compatible and easy to mix, single screw extruder is preferred compared to twin screw extruder. In summary, we can say that both single and twin screw extruders offer some benefits and both of them have some limitations. Therefore, the choice of extruder will depend upon type of polymer and additives. Thank you for watching this video and please comment if you need additional information on these equipments. Please do subscribe to our channel to support our efforts and also receive the notification when new videos are added. Thank you.